Okay, I think it is time to start strengthening our ankles a little bit more with our heels on. Let's start adding some straight, straight leg movement. So I want to see straight leg behind, straight leg here, straight leg behind, straight leg here. Start getting used to having your legs hard. Bum. And switch the arms. Boom, 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 boom. Now try to walk with stiff legs. I know it's weird what I'm doing and maybe swing this one out and around. So back out and around. Step back out and around. Step. Make the hip work. Back out and around. Step back out and around. Keep those knees straight. And do the other side. Step. So everything straight like a robot. Boom. 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 This will start helping you engage your quads a little bit. And when you're walking, I want you to think hard legs straight. That's really going to add a little bit to your shape is this hard leg okay you can work with circles going backwards right Boom. i'm in a i'm in a i'm basically in a split grip yes trying to swing my legs straight okay relax the quads a little bit shake it off for those of you that are here for the first time all right another conditioning exercise with your uh true grip or baseball grip on top and your split grip on the bottom, I want you to take your feet out and back and just hold this position here. Look at how I'm on my tippy toes. I'm not flexing my feet, my, my, my feet are not going like this. No, I am pointing everything and staying on those tippy toes and straightening and pointing through my ankles and straightening my knees. One, two, three, four, five. Use your hands to help you get out of it. And take a little break, do circles, one. Two, three, four, reverse. You gotta start working those ankles. We need strong ankles for exotic. What do you think? You think this was supposed to be easy? Hell no. You know, dancing is hard without heels. Imagine with heels, you have to really strengthen. Okay, now let's do some uh, walks around the pole. This time I want you to really flex. We're working now on dorsiflexion, the opposite. So now you're keeping your heels flat and bringing the knee to the ground as you step. Knee to the ground. Other footsteps, knee to the ground, keep going. You have to start trusting your heels a little bit and there will be many moments where it fails you. Switch sides. There will be many moments where your heels fail you and these moments are amazing. Take a moment to give me a like if you're really getting some value out of this little warm up. And you will fall and that's okay. <laughs> it happens all the time. All right. Stand up, shake it off. Now I want you to start doing squats with your um, split grip. And the bottom, could, you could either be a uh, finger facing down or just two true grips, two baseball grips, bum bum. One is across your belly button, pushing. The other one is pulling. And you're going to open into a wide squat. And I wanna see heels up. And we're going to come up and down, one. Two, stay on your toes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Use your arms to help you get out of it. Shake, shake, shake. Now we're going to bring our feet together, knees together, everything tight, together and tight. Okay, I'm gonna turn sideways so you see what I'm doing. We're going to come up to our tippy toes, really always pushing the ankle forward and engaging those quads, squeezing the abs, squeezing everything, and hold. One, two, push forward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Straight, straight, straight. Okay, now take a break, rotate. Your ankle should be very warm right now. Bum, 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 bum. The stronger your ankles are, the more you get away with things. Okay? The prettier things start to look also. So now we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, heels, ankles, toes, everything together. Knees, everything together. I'm gonna turn sideways. But now you're going to come up and down. So now you're gonna come up and down, keeping everything tight. 
come up and down into a little squat. Go to where your hips are parallel with your knees. Yes? Um, and up. Please keep everything squeezing. Let me show you from the front what I'm doing. Maybe here is better for you to see. Bam. Okay, keep everything tight. 10 reps, pushing the ankle forward. One, two, this is how you strengthen. Three, four, see if you can let go of the hands. If that's too hard, then, then use your arms more. The stronger you get, the better you'll be able to maybe even use just one hand. Take a little break. Those are not easy. Take a little break. Roll through the ankles. Take a little break. Roll through the ankles. And now we're gonna go all the way down. So same thing, everything tight, everything together. I don't wanna see any space between anything. Tight, together. Shift the weight forward onto your pivot point. And now we're going to use our hands to help us keep your knees together. Go all the way down and all the way up and all the way down and all the way up. Keep pushing those ankles forward, down, up, down, up, down. Do it about 10 times. If you can't do 10 times, do five, take a break, five, take a break. Boom, last one, boom, and boom. Come out of it gently. Your ankle should be on fire if you're human. And roll out of that. Yeah, this is really good. If you start doing this, um, your, your toe points and your heel work will improve, I promise. And now let's just do some good old slide outs and in. Remember when you slide out, you want to stay on your toe points. So you learned this with me previously, start adding it to your warm up all the time and make sure you switch the arms. This will work not only on your toe point and your leg work, but also on your grip strength and your arm strength. So push and pull, bum, hold, one, two. Check your feet, make sure they're not like this. Point, let me make sure you're seeing what I'm doing. Boom, you should be on your pivot points and on your box. Pivot points and box, pivot point, and box. Maybe do five to 10 repetitions of three to five second holds and then switch the other side. Switch to the other side so you work on your other grip. Okay, I'm turning so that you can see different angles. Yes? Okay, very nice. If you're new to exotic pole dancing, go ahead and check out some of my other tutorials. If you don't have a pole, I also have floor work tutorials that you can start to work with today.